Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Day. It's a beautiful evening. I'm hoping that there's going to be enough light in here for you to be able to have a clear view of what I'm going to be doing. I'm finally coming back to revisiting this. Now I've just finished editing my three hour uh, big peacock painting. So what I am going to try and do is hopefully just finish this one off tonight. I don't think I'm going to be doing three layers, but I'm going to see how it goes at the end of this. So what I am going to be doing is trying to make this into a semi peacock uh, feel. Yes, I am <laughs> feeling the feel of the peacocks. It's something that I always come back to and I feel quite strongly um, attached to as far as the positive energy, the colour, the elegance. It's just a beautiful piece of nature. So what I have done so far is sanded down my board so that when I do go to resin, it's got something to uh, cling on to whereas before I did all the detail work and then realized I've got to go in between and all with sandpaper so I've sanded it down and then I am going to be using my Peebo again which is the mix uh, relief <laughs> mix tissue I don't know but it's the glue that sticks this mirror image gold uh, to it which gives you that really nice liquid gold feel so you apply this one to start with and you have to wait about an hour let it go all, all tacky and then you apply this the right way up and you get some beautiful, beautiful textures and you leave that on for 15, 15 minutes. So I'm going to be working with those and possibly, but no 100% sure, add in a little bit of this. I'm just going to see as the image comes together what I am inspired to. Um, that would lay underneath the resin. The main colour I am going to be using for the peacock is the ultramarine blue, but I probably will come in and blend some of these, and that is Dalla and Rowney, but I will come in and use some of these Peebo colours just to mix in uh, a colour, a little bit of the body, maybe not too much, and it may be used for the actual back feathers, and possibly introducing the metallic uh, Peebo, uh, which should help and complement the gold and pont potentially on the body so 100% do not have a full idea I just know a feeling I'm going with and the colors that I may be using to bring some of the foreground forward which would be Dalla and Rowney and this one is uh, magenta velvet purple and cerulean again not 100% sure I'm going to use them all but this is what I've got out of the minute and my rule of thumb at the minute is get all the colors that I want to work with then put at least five away <laughs> Keep it simple because I don't want to lose too much of this back. It's got some beautiful movement and feel. But I am going to come through with the, just a very few colours just to help pop, sit my gold and then peacock on top. So wish me luck and I may just have to take my cardigan off because it's actually quite warm of the evening here. Hope you've had a lovely day. I've got another two days off and I am going to take myself and my partner Neil out for the weekend just to get a little bit of relaxation it's been an intense period which we all go through uh, so it's going to be nice just to breathe and smell the roses so let's get creative I think the first thing I am going to do is work out where um, do I want to work where my gold leaf is going to be? No, I think what I want to do is work where my peacock body is going to be, just an outline, and then the different colours. I now have a plan. Let's see how the plan works.
back from a lovely, lovely weekend mini break away. So back to it and I'm going to work on the gold leafing. So I will see you on the other side of this. Okay, I will be back in half an hour when this is, should I say in an hour when this is dried. So my glue is just about dry but not quite, just these few at the top need a little bit more time, they were the bigger bits, but what I am going to do is work on this part here. Once you know it's totally clear, you know it's time to work on. So I'm going to use some of my flakes, which is Peebo, and that's a gold flake, although I think it's copper, and that's going to come around the tail where he's shaking it. So in an ideal world I have tweezers but I can't find them. So I'm going to pull them all out a little bit at a time and just apply that there and see what effects that gives me.
Okay, so I'm going to apply the resin over the top and drag just a few dark blue strands and gold through, but very, very minimal, and leave it like that. And this one will be done. I don't think there's anything more I'll be able to add that will take it to any other level. So let's finish this off and let's see if we end up liking this one. Just mixing SFXC brand, which is a powder pigment. The colours I'm using is sky blue. Just going to use a tiny little bit in that just to bring some of the feathers um, near the copper leaf to the forefront. I don't even know if I'm going to need the amount that I've just mixed up. I'm playing it as I go. I'm just going to leave that there a little bit and I will go back and make sure those pigments are all mixed up. And then I'm using my Perlex Super Compact colour. And again, just to bring the tones, hopefully from the bottom to the front together, but trying to keep some of that vibrancy. And swirls, just trying to make sure that that pigment is all mixed in properly. But I will let it sit down for a bit, smooth out my clear resin, and then I will come back and see how I play with those. The clear resin that I do have left, um, I'll pop it on my other piece that I'm finishing off, but at the minute I'm just gonna spread this out, make sure it's covering everywhere, and then come through with my heat gun, and just get these bubbles out.
Okay, so I have recently finished working on this. There are parts of it that I really like and some that I'm a little bit... Mm. Um, I love the peacock, I love the gold. Um, I love the overall image, but I do have to go back over some of the golds where the paint's gone over it uh, to make them look like some of them are stood in the foreground and background when it dries. And I, because I put so much clear on, it's really diluted the blue that I've added. So little bit disappointed with that but I'll see how it dries uh, and see what I feel like then and see if I do need to touch it up or whether I feel like I've reached as much as I can do with this one uh, before it starts to go backwards but you're always learning you're always coming up with ideas anyway uh, I'll see you when this is cured and we'll talk about it then Okay, a similar kind of thing with my peacock. Uh, the colours diluted a lot and I was about to give up on this and I thought, no, stick with it. You might be able to do something with it because there are some pretty cool effects in here. So I need to bring the peacock back to the foreground and I definitely want some defined lines here where the feather's going to be. So I'm going to have to do this with my old paintbrush and be willing to be brave. trying to work out is do I want them straight or do I want them curly um, I don't know so I'm gonna play with it until I'm happy sorry mr. peacock gotta go back over you I think I've broken this I'm just being ruthless with it which sometimes I think could be a good thing
so let that dry a little bit of resin over the top not a huge amount it's just to bring it all together and make the acrylic pop and tie a little bit of gold on some of the thing and bring some of these to the front and I think I like that a hell of a lot better than it was so I might be able to salvage it although it has turned mainly into an acrylic painting rather than the resin pour but you can still see it in the background and that's where I'm trying to just keep that and honour that and a little bit of that colour coming through but hopefully because I'm going to bring some of this gold to the top and there's some in the back it's going to hopefully give that depth cool I'll see you when I apply the resin so I am going to be using my mixture and I'm going to be applying it just around the peacock just to bring it to the foreground and where I want some of the feather eyes to go and I I've got uh, these mixed sheets with different colors I'm going to see what different colours they are and see whether I just want to keep it gold or whether I actually want to add a little bit of colour. That I will decide at the time of applying it, but for now I'm just going to put my gold leaf here. That's just in my mixture where I want there to be a defined line. I'm thinking of just keeping it to this one side where it would be his lighter side. miss the line altogether there so just pull it back All right, so I'm going to rotate myself through this with multi-colours. Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I wanted to show you this little beauty and I'm going to move it in different directions for you to see the different light capturing on it. Absolutely love this piece. Um, I think I've stopped it at the right place. I'm so glad I pushed through and ended up putting it in the bin. I love, love, love 
the feeling and expression coming from here. I love the different colours of the gold foil and I love the resin just behind here that's got all that movement because it really looks like it's shaking its tail further. But I bring it in for that close up and I'll keep moving it and so much depth with the gold that's behind. So many different colours coming through. Depending on where the light catches it is where you see things. And I just think it's pretty special and you just got to get your creativity. I love his face. Um, hope you enjoy him as much as I do. They're really radiant, beautiful, blinged up. Peacock! Have the most wonderful evening. I'm sorry it's taken me a while to post. I uh, had some stuff going on in my personal life, um, mainly around health and anniversary of a bereavement. But I am back and I'm glad I worked through this piece and I got to share it with you. So have the most wonderful evening. If you do like my art or ideas or channel, please remember to give me that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share my videos, but comments are always, always welcome. Love to know your thoughts on this piece.